I think our school's been successful in implementing tiered interventions because we have taken a team approach. It hasn't been just the support staff that have worked in this area. We have brought everybody with us. At the college we have a number of staff who work in the intensive learning team program and each has a really crucial role to play in the intervention. All of us have had experience working with students that require more support. There's one diversity teacher on each year and then we've got teachers assistants as well. There's a massive group of us that all work really closely together to make our tiered intervention happen. My role as the English coordinator looks at the systems and structures, the staffing, timetabling. Then we have our literacy lead teacher who plans the actual curriculum and lesson planning. Our senior speech pathologist and her work really closely on that together. Our inclusive education assistant principal helps in identifying those students and making sure that they're getting what they need. Then we obviously have a lot of support from our deputy and our principal in running programs like this. The actual tiered intervention itself is, is largely led by a literacy learning specialist and two of our senior English teachers as well. All fantastic operators, uh, really good at their craft. We've also tried to involve a lot of our primary school teachers as well who have got um, generalist backgrounds but also very strong in the literacy area. We need those really high level operators that can lead programs like this and actually bring people on board. It's important that the teacher is very competent but also very willing to learn new skills and uh, has to be a teacher who has the appropriate training. A teacher who can create that warm, welcoming classroom environment where that student's going to feel safe, where it's okay to make a mistake and uh, where they're going to experience success maybe for the first time in their school life. We have a literacy lead teacher we have an English coordinator, we have the speech pathologist, and we also have a deputy principal. So those people meet regularly and they discuss things like, how is the program going? Are there any modifications needed? What is it that the broader staff are doing really well? Are there specific people that need support? We meet very regularly and we know it's crucial to assess student progress at least every five weeks as a team and that collaboration will look like very collaborative discussions, usually about data. So we're looking at the progress that students are making using the interventions. So we've engaged in a range of professional development to support with the implementation of our intervention programs. We've also upskilled our teachers in their knowledge and understanding of morphology and morphology instruction. I've done a lot of work on morphology over the years and been supporting our staff with it. We've also been upskilling our teachers in their ability to explicitly teach vocabulary. And we as a whole school have been undergoing training and development on just how important vocab and morphology are for our students, particularly in their reading. I have staff from both high school and primary based training so they all needed to be able to implement the intervention with fidelity so they needed to have a really good understanding of the pedagogy around the science of reading and how our intervention fitted in with that. If they understand why a student might struggle with their reading I think they're much better at um, being able to support them in the classroom. Coming into a literacy intervention program from being a trained English high school teacher. I had to learn a lot because the assumption is that they can read when you get them and that's not the case. Having the support of a really great team who are primary teachers works really well. High school teachers aren't necessarily trained in how to teach reading, so we needed a program that would be able to support them as well. So we picked a program that ticked those boxes for us and it came with a training package. So any staff that were involved in the implementation of the intervention were trained in that intervention program.